2X. All right. So this is the Optimus 2X, recently announced uh, right before CES. Very exciting product. You have a four-inch touch screen. The resolution is 345 by 800. But the big thing about this particular product is the fact that it is the first phone that features the in NVIDIA uh, Tegra dual-core processor, which just helps the overall user experience be completely smooth. And you can see it's just seamless when you're scrolling between the different screens. Uh, the other uh, key features of this particular product, it has HDMI recording and playback at 1080p which is pretty awesome. You have an uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back. You have an HDMI port on the top here. Uh, it does feature, I'm not sure if it features DLNA. I'll have to double check that for you. But the one thing I do want to point out though is that it does feature a capability called HDMI mirroring, which when you hook this up to your HDMI compatible TV, uh, you're gonna, everything that you see on screen, you'll see on your, on your TV screen. It'll mirror it completely. So whether you're looking at your menu like this, It'll show up on screen exactly the same way in real time. Whether you're playing uh, video, pictures, the web, whatever you're doing on your phone will show up on your screen. Additionally, this also features, this is one of the more advanced phones as far as gaming is concerned. It gives you a true, true gaming experience on your handset. And what that means is we actually have a demo over here uh, with a driving game where you can hook up this to the TV, play the driving game, and it's almost like a console-like experience playing a driving game in, with full 3D graphics, and you're using the accelerometer to drive the car around a huge closed circuit. So it's pretty impressive technology. Um, I'm not sure what the internal memory is. Um, I believe it might be close to two gigs. I think the black is two gigs, uh, and will be bundled with eight gigs of micro SD. But what I do know is this will be uh, supporting up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Okay. He also has a front-facing camera, right? Yeah, there is a front-facing camera, and I'm not sure if that's it or if it's hidden under here. I don't know if that's the proximity sensor or not. Yeah, uh, it's a new one on the sides. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. So it's 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 a global product, like you said. Correct. Which version of Android is it? I believe this is running Froyo. Will there be updates to, uh, there definitely will be updates to 2.3, right? Um, yeah, I mean, as we analyze the operating system for 2.3 and uh, checking out the capabilities and how it would work on our handset, I'm sure at some point we would probably uh, upgrade it. I know that we've uh, announced that the Optimus phones that are launched here in the U.S. will be upgradable to, to Gingerbread. Okay. Um, you know, featuring, you're talking about the Optimus T and all the other devices. Right, so definitely this, this will, will... So I would imagine that a high-end device like this would, would definitely... Uh, when's the targeted launch date? That I don't know when uh, target launch dates or pricing or availability is going to be. 2.2, okay. uh, okay. Android version. So. And it's also a DivX capable device as well. That's right. That's good. That's right. That's right. Which most all of our Optimus phones are DivX capable. So that is your Optimus 2X, and you can see we have the experience table here. Um, you have your dual core processor, HDMI multimedia, and mirroring, uh, true visual gaming, which is what I was talking about before. Yeah. Let's see if it gives you a demo of it. Okay.